So, the start list now for the men's four semi-final, and uh, boy, do we have a really hot field for you in this event. So, we've got, at the top of your picture, it is the Austrians, a very fast young four from Austria, the first British four, then a great Dutch four, the Romanians... Poland and France. Just looking at the Poles there, you know a bit about them, Greg? Yeah, well, the Polish have looked to uh, strengthen this four. These four came out of the eight, who were always competitive and never quite out in front. And now they're going for it in the Coxless four, as are the Romanians with this young crew. And uh, we see picking the race up here past the uh, 750, coming up towards the 1,000. Um, it is that young Romanian crew who've got control of this one. But um, remember, it's three to qualify, still a long race. When we say young, I mean, in, in effect, we're talking about guys who won the juniors in Rotterdam. That's, you know, in 2016. And, and the ages of this crew are just 20, 20 and two 19-year-olds. So um, you can see on this side of the course, three boats through on the far side of the course. So who's that? That's a shot of the Austrian crew. And... Uh, they're back in fifth at the moment, but they're certainly not out of it. They're going to need a good third quarter here as they take a look over the shoulders and think, right, well, now we need to move back. Yeah, Gabby Hoffenhauser in the stroke seat, the 22-year-old. Uh, Behind him, Rudy Querfeld, from, uh, formerly from Cal, Cal Barkley. I saw them do really well when the under-23 fours in Rotterdam in 2016. Uh, two of them can only pick up a bronze medal in that event last year. But that's the quality of Austrian Rome, one of the top boats in the Austrian team. So the thing is, this is uh, this room. I'm talking to Antonio Colomanici, who coaches the Romanian men's sweep crews out here. I said, "What's your order of boats, Antonio?" He said, first the men's pair, then the men's four, then the men's eight." So this is the second rank Romanian sweep boat, and they are really looking good to take a medal in this event. Well, and they are, don't they? There's an opportunity really for someone to come into this event. We'll have the Australians as well, who I think are very strong in it, but. Uh, yeah, a young crew, juniors just a few years ago. Why not take on the rest of the world? And they're doing that here against this experienced Polish crew. All four of these, this crew were in the eight in Rio that finished in fifth place. Not to count out at the bottom of the screen, it's the French four just holding off the British for that third qualifying place. Yeah, that's really where the hard take is going to be, is who's going to finish in fourth place. Because if you're in fourth, you're in the B final, and only the first three will qualify directly to the A final. And uh, the British boat of Gleniston, McBriarty, Helen and George Rossiter are sort of about sort of half a length behind the French. But the French look to have good pace, and it'll take a lot for the British to overhaul that crew. You can see the British there on the left view picture. There's the Romanians leading at the head of the V, and uh, the Poles close behind them. And to their left, it's the French. Bow number four are the Romanians. They do look smooth and fluid, don't they? I mean, there's nothing to slow the boat down. The weight's on the seat. It's not on the feet as they come forward, Greg. So, you know, the boat's running nice and flat. Yeah, it's an interesting-looking crew. They look like they sort of get their bodies into it quite early. Almost they slide right underneath themselves, get the shoulders moving early in the stroke um, to get some uh, power through the middle of the stroke. The French do look as if they're going to hold out of shot, that hold that third qualifying place. The British are charging, but I think they've left it too late. So we're watching Romania as they come to the line. There's the drone shot. You can see the poles on the right of the screen. And there's the French just coming into shot. The British are charging, Greg. The British are charging. It's going to be very tight for this third place. I think the British have made a big move. Oh, I, that is what I didn't expect. I thought the French were looking good. We didn't get the shots until that last drum shot. Austria and Netherlands take the uh, final places there. It probably will be a bit of a photo finish. But um, a lot of the parents here to watch racing, and Paul Helen is one of the parents, parent of Morgan Helen, rowing in the three seat of the British crew. So there's the French, who were in a qualifying position for most of the race. That's the Austrians, who, young crew, look across from Florian Volk in the 23 year old in the bow seat. We saw them through the middle of the race, Greg. 
There's the finish, the Romanians, that nice fluid style. The Poles, guys out of the eights, it's their priority boat. And then the French, but who's got the third spot? And it is the British, Greg. It is the British who've squeezed into that third qualifying place with a great last 500.